greatest of the greatest. A podcast that you never knew you needed. With interviews from people you have never met, or maybe you have once or twice. Asking questions and knowing more than you want to know about them. You are listening to Full Buddy Cast. I don't know. She hasn't said anything. I don't even know if she listens to these things. But, oh well. All right. So, I don't know if you guys are still doing this. I don't know when I'm releasing this. So, this might be a freebie for old Bobby and Liz. But, takebackyourlifenow.net. FBC <laughs> FBC 2020 is the discount code, 20% off anything you have on there. Uh, they have 30-day, 60-day, 90-day workouts. I love the background with, with Aaron here. It's good. It's, it's working well. And uh, they, have, they have the nutrition. Um, they Go check them out, takebackyourlifenow.net. Also, uh, they have a YouTube channel as well. They got great stuff. I'm telling you, Facebook group it. Go. Go check it out. Tell them. That uh, FBC sent you, so full body cast, full body cast, which is which is uh, a lot of a lot of random listeners here and there. I'll, I'll get messages. I know that you've listened to a, a couple of the episodes. The one the other day where I was talking about um, it was well was, for anyone who's going to listen to this, it was about a month and a half ago. But it was the <laughs> T on one where we're talking about run-ins with the cops and this and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the dude that is the son of the dispatch, he listens to these things, and I didn't tip him off. I just oh, kinda, really? I just kind of like let it air. Yeah. If, he, if he listens to it, he listens to it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. No big deal. Yep. And he's like, dude, dying at this. This is great. And, and, and so he listened to it. So, you know, who knows? I might bring you guys up. Chelsea? We might talk about you this this episode too. In fact, we've got a whole section dedicated just for Chelsea, which I'm excited about. This time, yes, we're gonna actually fit it in this time. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. Oh, it's there, completely there. Yep. We got to get a few run through a few things first. Once that's out of the way, it's Chelsea all day, all day. all day. We may not be talking about your cousin. We could be talking about the football club, yeah, the soccer club. Oh, yeah, let's get into some of that. Christian yeah. Pulisic, yeah. Is pull that pull that microphone up to your face. I don't know if you know this, but with podcasts when they record, I'm gonna kill you. You gotta <laughs> see the actual. Do you see the microphone? Yeah. Okay. This part is not the microphone. I know. This is. This is. So that's what you speak into. Am I not speaking into it? ASMR. Everyone, I want you to dim down all of it. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna eat a chip. This is a Tim's Cascade. Jalapeno chip. ASMR. All right, is that better? <laughs> We're not done with the ASMR. <clears throat> space dust. Ah, space dust. <laughs> All right. Here's, is that better? Hold on. I did move it around a little bit. If anyone can guess this, whatever this is, you win. Was it 20% off? No. I'll send you guys an autographed sticker. <laughs> have you seen our Have you seen our stickers yet? I have. We got stickers now. Um, all right. So we got Aaron Center on with the name of the podcast at some point entered in here. Uh, <laughs> centered with Aaron. Um, <laughs> I actually like centered with Aaron. That might be it. I don't sure. know. Sure. Whatever, man. Um. I think it's changed every single time. That's true. <laughs> episode one. Yeah. Everyone is episode one. Of... <laughs> All right, Aaron, we're going to get you going here. All right. We're going to warm you up with some loaded questions. Dun, 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 All right. Dun. What would totally overwhelm you? Uh, totally. Completely overwhelm you. Like, not just work. Go deeper. More kids. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ain't I'm at that my the limit. truth? I'm at my limit. Um, man, you know, oh, it's, I don't want to make it political, but the whole pull that microphone up to your face. It's at my face. Yeah, you're doing this. You're talking to it like that. Pull it up like here, right here. Should I slouch a little more? Yeah, that's perfect. Is that better? Get slouchy. We don't even have the the video on, so you talk however you want. I was sitting up too high. Yep. All right. So anyway. All right. Uh, that all that craziness that's going on with like getting bombed, like yeah. that shit scares the hell out of me. Why? Because there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing, and it's just gonna happen randomly. 
Listen, I'm not going to like pine over it, but it's definitely something that's like. Is that going to overwhelm you though? If the shit goes down, that would be pretty overwhelming. But I think that's pretty fair to say for anybody. So revelation. If 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 we blew up, we'd all be a little overwhelmed, right? We would all be. Ezekiel, yeah. I think it is actually. Yeah. And Ezekiel talks about the land of the north, aka Mother Russia, coming down yeah. with the land of the east, aka China. And teaming up with the Midwest to take on, or the Mideast, I should say, to take on Israel. Now, it's always been talked about that Iran possibly could be that with the backing of Russia and Mm -hmm. China. Now, Russia and China, last week, who knows? We could be demolished by now whenever we... (laughs) This may never get released. But... (laughs) <laughs> but if you would have listened to this uh, before we were annihilated, they uh, the, the Russia and China ran some military drills, cooperative military drills last week. So anytime that pops up, I'm always like, hmm, this is interesting. But China also warned Iran, like, don't go to – what are you doing? Don't go to war with America. But here's the thing. Everyone reads their Bible and they think, oh, America is the kingdom of God. It's no, it's Israel. Okay. Yeah. And so America isn't even freaking mentioned hardly ever, if at all, referenced to uh, in the Bible. So either one of two th- things are happening. One or three things, we should say. One of three things. Either one, America is no longer around. It's been annihilated. It's no longer a power. Or they consider us Israel. Or they consider us Israel. Or we don't do anything. We're just like, ah, we're not going to really be involved in this Israel fight. And then the third thing is that, uh, or the thing, the third thing is, is that uh, it's just not mentioned. We're just not important enough. Important to be in enough there. to, yeah. yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. So, well, like you said, if it's if it's along those lines, and we're not participating, right? You know, because who knows what the next regime is going to bring? Exactly. You know, the next president could come in and completely pull ourselves out of all of that. Right, exactly. And then we aren't helping Israel anymore. And then we have no, well, not as much anger towards us. Because that's the big thing is right. it's really that we help Israel. And so the Middle East hates us. Right. Which and has I, always been a connection. Exactly. It's what it is. It is what it is. So anyway. I have no say in that. And neither do you. So. Yeah. So overwhelming. I was more overwhelmed with North Korea because I feel like North Korea can reach us. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I did think about that too. North Korea, <laughs> North Korea was like, for me, when, when they're like shooting off shit, I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, That's that, only like a thousand miles from us. <laughs> that's hitting us. We're dead. <laughs> yeah. Iran's doing stuff or Cuba is doing stuff. I'm like, eh, I don't care. You're hitting New York before yeah, you hit us. Get There's way here. more big cities between us yeah. and them than. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to skip but over Philadelphia. North Korea, I'm like, all right, guys, listen. We got, we, <laughs> listen, <laughs> we're the biggest city right next yeah. to them. It's either us or LA. Who's <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy? No. It's all fear. It um, what animal would look funny with lipstick, in your opinion? What animal <laughs> would look funny with lipstick? What animal would look funny with lipstick? Pig. Pig every day. It's always pig, but that's lame. Lipstick. Uh, uh, Porcupine. That would look funny. <laughs> a horse. An octopus. Horse would look funny. <laughs> horse would be pretty good. I do like the horse. Yeah, I'm going to go horse. Okay, I like that. Uh, what is a strange reason to celebrate? <laughs> a gender reveal? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. It's that's, true. I don't want to get on my hot horses, but I think that's so silly. It's, and I did it, too. It's so weird. And I wasn't happy about it. My strange reason was when we celebrate was when we got, we won our case against the, against. God, the, that's a funny story, though. And then, and then, the cap gun case? Yeah, the cap gun case. Where the, where the dare officer was basically told not to be an officer anymore. Pretty much. Encyclopedia Brown yeah. and the cap gun case. Where we, we'll let your job. And then we, we, uh, we beat, we beat the. We beat the rap, and we went to Anthony's and celebrated with oysters and all you can eat. Hey, that part yeah. sounds amazing. So good. I love myself some oysters. What could you eat ten of? You got oysters. You're, you're limited to ten <laughs> oysters. What type? Oh, yeah. How are you going to do it? Are you going to put a little, raw? Okay, a little raw mignette. Are you going to put some uh, yeah. s- some hot sauce on it? No, probably just a little mignette. 
What is mignette? See, you're, you're speaking another language to me. <laughs> That's that little red wine vinegar. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. little icy that you usually put on the side when yeah, you're, yeah. especially like Anthony's, it's usually always served with like a lemon wedge. Yeah. Some little hot cocktail sauce and a mignette. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we went I'll take them raw too. That's fine. I love oysters, dude. Like that's me and Ashley's like go to go to for how uh, many kids you got? Three. That's how you got three kids. There's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> it might be how I got a son. I don't know. I got to redo the math on that. I'm gonna figure out exactly what all that was about. But we definitely tried for a son. There you go. There's like some mythology with that, right? Really? I have no clue. Yeah. All I know is aphrodisiac. I always just thought that I was going to be destined for girls because I was such a piece of shit in college. See, but. that's the thing. I grew up thinking the same thing. I was always worried that no matter what I did, like it would either it would affect the outcome. Like lived in paranoia my entire life. Like God would get me back. Like, well, oh. it wasn't that. It was until I had two daughters that I was like, oh, I'm being punished. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I, I kind of had that correlation with like, well, I was pretty shitty in college. You know, right. A fair amount of girlfriends, to put it politely. And maybe I'm just destined to protect a couple girls for the rest of my life. But I got lucky. I got a boy. Well, that's, I'm proud of you. Yeah, thanks. Took a lot of work, man. Dude, uh, when, when that boy know. came out or when when – Dude, when I found out, yeah. I jumped up in my seat. Like, I was sitting there with yeah. the, and I said, fuck, no, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> and I threw my hands up in the air like I just won the Super Bowl. And Ashley's, and then I put my hands on my head like, no, 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 double check, double check. And I go, like, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Right. And Ashley, you know, she was happy for me because right. she knew it's kind of the only way she convinced me was. For all you people out there that maybe only have one boy or maybe, or you don't have any boys or you don't have any girls, right? And you always wanted that one. Ha ha. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> no. Winner, winner. What I, what I, one of my young life leaders back in the day, his name's Todd O'Neill. Um, he had all girls, like four girls, five, yeah. something like that. And, you know, they were done. They tried. Didn't happen. No mm -hmm. big deal. But now they're all married and he's got four boys now, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think that's the thing. It's like, yeah. listen, like. It's, it's very gonna, a short sighted thought when you think about it. Right. It's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. And then also. You could also always get the boy that just hates sports, yeah. loves Legos, Absolutely. and hey, what's wrong with Legos? Nothing. That's okay. my that's my son. Um, I love Legos. Legos are fun. I like Star Wars. I I like. <laughs> here, here is life is good. Life is funny. God is funny. Sense of humor. All that you want to yeah. talk about that. So, I always wanted a boy. What do I have? I have a girl. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I have another girl. I'll try again. All right, try again. They tell me it's going to be a boy. The doctor says it's going to be a boy. You are having a boy. Comes out a girl. Oh, oh, okay. Try again. Have a boy. Had a boy. So, and then I had a girl down the road. But what I'm saying <laughs> is this I thought my boy was going to be exactly like me. Yeah. I thought my boy was going to love Seahawks and love basketball and love this and love that yeah. and love this. Okay. Rewind a little bit, though. I'm glad I had daughters first because I would have I would have been all about my boy. Daughters, I never had a sister. Mm -hmm. I, my mom was very tomboyish. She was loved sports, Mariners, yeah, Seahawks, Sonics, sure. all that. So to have a princess – tea party yeah or to you know have them sing or have them dance or mm -hmm. high school musical and blah, 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 like all this stuff was a blessing because i was yeah. like i never saw this so it was fun for me to do this again yeah so like okay this is great i'm glad that i had i'm glad i had this i had a son still have him I haven't given him away yet he's a funny kid sold him to any gypsies absolutely hilarious this kid yeah. is this kid is non-stop he's 12 years old I would have smoked him in Madden ten years ago, but I still do every weekend. Like, yeah. Oh man, he, yeah, he, uh, he has a phone where he will text me randomly. This and it's, it's like random stuff. Yeah, he got kind of in trouble, and so he said. <laughs> He goes, uh, he goes, I, I said, hey, 
you found your phone. He, he, he got in trouble because he lost his phone. Yeah. I said, hey, found your phone. Good. And he goes, I thought you were going to say, what did we learn? And I said, what did we learn? He goes, bury the bodies in the backyard. Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Make sure no witnesses are around. <laughs> Hide from the cops in a dumpster. If you're caught, distract, lie, kill, blackmail, and hack. Like, okay. <laughs> like, like, that's the type of text I get. The other one he sent, when, it, when I had a friend coming over, um, he said, don't let him know that I'm here. We'll, we'll, he goes, keep it a secret. Good cop, bad cop. Interrogation <laughs> tomorrow at 1130. <laughs> like, and he goes, I'll be back. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. And I'm like, who is this kid? The bridge man? is down. This kid's hilarious. So anyway, so so this kid doesn't really like sports and this and that. So I was thinking, oh, man, you know, like my son, uh, I don't get to have that bond. I don't have the. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. But he shows me aspects of a boy childhood that I didn't ever grasp when i was a kid so i enjoy that now too so my daughter's my my one my my jacqueline she's the one that's going to be the sport person she is psycho she loves to (laughs) jump and bounce and break things so with that said we talked about coaching Mm -hmm. you coached your kids yeah what sports what ages uh young i've coached ava in soccer and i've coached millie in soccer and what, what ages? What ages? Um, I think so. Millie was just this last year, and her coach um, is like a doctor of some kind. Mm. And so the first practice, he was like, "Hey, you know, sometimes I'm not going to be able to be here." And so a couple of us dads, there was like, well, there was really just two of us. A bunch of us, the first day, of course, are like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we'll help out, of course." <laughs> you guys got to fill out this paperwork, and then of course nobody does it. Uh, but me and this other dad, and so we kind of ended up taking over the team for the last like few weeks because he ended up getting caught up in a bunch of work stuff, and so he wasn't there for I think like like the last four games. Um, and so me and this other dad kind of took over and it was fun. It's cool. I mean, it's, did you put your shoulder or uh, one of the kids, did you put your uh, elbow on your shoulder? Did say, I, did I blow pow? Yeah. No, blah, I didn't pow? blow pow. Did you say, Hey, what's your name? No. To one of the kids. And they're like, no. it's, it's uh, Car- Carla. Yeah, oh, no. okay. what's your last name? Uh, Carla uh, McMurray. <laughs> well, if I was your friend, Carla <laughs> McMurray, I'd tell you to shut the heck up. No, no, that never happened. You should do um, that. It's classic. But yeah, I coached, power move. I coached Ava in soccer probably like six years, and six year old, seven year old, so pretty young. How, what's your feeling on all of that? Is it easier to coach the kids? Well, I enjoy sports a lot. I mean, you know that about me. I love yeah. sports. So coaching to me is just it is what it is. Um, I remember being a kid and watching that stuff pretty closely. For whatever reason, I paid a lot of attention to that kind of thing and watching like the parents yell at coaches and right. just that whole dynamic was so interesting to me. And I definitely think about it now when I'm coaching and I hear stuff, you know, um, a couple of those games, especially with Millie's team. There was a uh, one mom who in particular who was quite, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. She was kind of snotty, snotty about it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, she just kind of had this little like pass, very passive aggressive attitude towards how, like what? And well, cause her kid would always go sit with her and not with the other kids on the bench. I hate that. And then I'd forget that she was over there. And so I'd be doing subs and trying to get everybody to participate. Cause we're at that age where it's right. not like, I'm not putting the best players on. I'm not trying to win right. the game. I'm right. trying to get everybody to go out there and have fun and play together. And this kid would always disappear. And I just kind of forget about her. And, you know, then her mom would come back with her and be like, well, you know, the coach needs to be able to put you in and say like little things to me. And then Ashley would just jump in right away and be like, oh, yeah, you should have her sit with the rest of the team here so that she can be seen. <laughs> nice job, Ash. Yeah. You know, Ash is awesome like that. And Ashley's one of those people who's never had any issue with like uh, stepping up and, and talking to people. Um, there's a really funny story that just popped into my head. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. I want to hear the funny story before we go there. Dude, I got a hilarious story about Chelsea coming up. But go ahead. So uh, we were in Seattle, and I was working at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Seattle Center there, and there's this little park up on the hill. And I'd, uh, we were going to the Tri-Cities for the weekend, and we wanted, we had the dog with us. We were basically leaving for like four days. And on our way out of town, we were going to give one of my best friends a ride home, one of my cooks who, had work, who worked with me. And so it was like, hey, we're going to go take Loki, our dog, uh, up to this park, let her go to the bathroom because she's been in the car for already like an hour. Um and then we're going to bounce. Do you want to, you know, come with us? Sure. Well, we pull over on the side of the road in Seattle. We <clears throat> jump out of the car. Troy, my buddy, who's a black guy, opens the back of the, the truck up. 
And the dog jumps out and he grabs Loki. He loves my dog. He's one of my good friends. He's an awesome dude. Um, and this little lady is out there like spraying her yard with uh, like pesticide. Right. And she like starts screaming at Troy right away, like right out the gate. Not even like hesitating. Like I haven't even got out of the car all the way yet. And he, she starts screaming at him about your dog is ruining my lawn. And he's like, whoa, what? And he's kind of like taken back. Like what's going on here? My dog? Right. This isn't even my dog. Right. <laughs> I'm here with my friends. And uh, and she just starts screaming at him. And she grabs her rake. And she starts getting ready to, like, hit my friend and my dog. Like, he's holding the dog by the collar because, like, Ashley had the leash. Right. And she's like, hey, we're not even from around here. Chill out, lady. Like, you don't even know me. Right. And at that point, she starts swinging the fucking rake. And Mrs. Troy, but hits my dog. Oh. And Ashley, gra- like, came out of nowhere. Like, you know, I got baby in the car right. and stuff. But Ashley, super mom, comes out of nowhere grabs that rake handle and rips it out of her hand and i don't remember exactly what she said but you know along the lines of like so what's your what's your name <laughs> yeah what's your name <laughs> if i was your friends i'd tell you to <laughs> shut the fuck put, up put that rake down but basically it was like listen you know lady right. we're not from here you know you don't know us at all this is the first time my dog's been here and it's not even his dog so how can you you right. know like quit saying it's his and grab the rake and it was basically stop hitting us and right. we're calling the cops now because you just assaulted my dog and she's like you know, F you, right. and, you know, grabbed her rake back and stormed back into her house and then got in her car and left. And yeah. Ashley's like, fuck that. I'm calling the cops now. So right. she calls the cops on this lady just to report it like, hey, there's a psycho that lives on this right. road that if she does this to some other random person, that other person could end up going down for some shit that wasn't true because right. she's just a blatant liar. Right. And very racist, clearly, because right. I think the only reason it sparked was because it was, was a black, black dude. Right. Yeah. And, you know, me and Troy talking about it later. It's right. like, yeah, dude, that's just another day in Seattle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it was just, yeah, it's a shitty situation, but it's funny. Ashley, out of nowhere, just went and grabbed that rake. Nice like, listen, job, Ash. Listen, listen, bitch, I'll beat you down with this rake. Oh, really? She didn't say that. But that's the vibe it was coming from was, wow. you know, this shit's going down now. Dude, I'm telling you, it's crazy. So there was a thing that I watched about racism that someone said that racism was, is like, you saw the country was the most racist after the winning of the civil war after the civil war was over. That's where we were the most racist where people would say, actually probably not. I mean, at that point we were eradicated slavery, but then other people would say, well, yes. And you like arguing both sides. Yeah. Yes. Because that's where we started segregating and things Mm -hmm. got this and that and the other thing. So things got more heated on some levels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's it's crazy how it's that. It, it's just it's old people, man. Yeah. Like it's it's probably young people too. But it's not all old people. But, but around here, dude, it's crazy. It's mostly old people. How old people are? I mean, Washington's a pretty progressive state, and so I think most people that we associate ourselves with, it's nuts. For the most part, have some culture. A little bit. Have a little bit of culture. A little bit. You know. But the. But yeah. the old people that haven't got, you know, in your case here in Enumclaw, haven't got out of right. Ravensdale or Enumclaw or Selick in 50 years. Well, there's also re- reverse racism. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, it is. it's where people are like overly celeb. Like, I remember when, when uh, I was with Sadie, it yeah. would be like, oh, you're, oh, nice. You're, we got a black person in Enumclaw now. Like, oh, you're so, yeah. you're so yeah. welcome here. I want you to know you're so welcome. Yeah. And it's like. Even though they're going above and beyond, it's still like this. Like you, you never left that going. You're still keeping me. They're making me different. Yes, on right. A, on, oh, a, on a very. I don't. Yeah. I don't see color. I but it's then like. Why are we having this conversation? Why are you saying, <laughs> exactly. Right. right <laughs> I exactly. Totally feel it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so yeah. So there was always. Uh, yep. So if you're one of those people that go up to someone and say, "I love black people and and, yeah. and I have black friends," yeah. and you, it's like, listen, buddy, like or yeah. your gal. You we, we, just save that for yourself. Just be ha- just be happy for yourself. No one else yeah. is sitting there going, "Wow!" You know, it's that like is- the Chris Rock bit about getting credit for shit you're supposed to do. Right? <laughs> you don't get credit for shit you're supposed to do. Don't say that. Yeah. You Think don't it. Get credit for fucking yeah. treating people normal. It's okay, no matter what they look like. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Hey, that I just want you to let you know, I don't think black people are strange because right. of the color of their yeah. skin. So happy you're here <laughs> oh, right good. now. It's just I'm like glad. you being black and I'm white and wear this. It's so that. great. Cool. 
great. Okay. Um, but yeah, so anyway, if you're doing that, stop that. Just yeah. just, just live. Just, be happy. Just, just to yourself, check your check a box for yourself. Give yourself a little <laughs> star. It's good. It's cool. It, it's true. It means you're growing. Yeah. But just, but just keep Just know there's yourself. more to grow. Yes. There's yeah. a lot a more bit, to grow yeah, from there. A little bit. A yeah. yeah. little bit. Um, by the way, very cool of Craig to marry an Asian lady. Because <laughs> Asians, I just, no, I was kidding. <laughs> I knew you were going <laughs> to. I love it. <laughs> um, Drop that one little line in there. Yeah, no. But uh, with uh, with Craig, side note, hilarious story about Chelsea. We'll talk about it very soon. Soon. We're getting there. Uh, but with Craig, he has always kind of had that, like, you. did he get asked if he was ever? Yes. Yes. Asian? Yeah. Yeah. That's funny you bring that up. Yeah, absolutely. Like, is that from your I whose side I is think that that's, from? I think that's our side. Well, the connected side of us. I think that's that Laplander Norwegian. Oh, that's what I think. Because our Norwegian side is that Laplander up in the mountains. Norwegian. You even said Norwegian. Very Norwegian. Sorry. Uh, it's yeah. The alcohol. So it's yeah. So I thought it was Norwegian. Yeah, Norwegian. I was listening to a lot of that Christmas music <laughs> from uh, our childhood. Did you guys ever? What's that guy's name? Uh, dude, uh, hilarious! I just listened to. Uh, it. I just brought it up. Lawrence Welk. No, the Norwegian guy from Seattle. Wait, oh wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Wait, it was uh, um, Sven. No, it was yes. Uh, Z- Sven. Sven. Yingle kin- or kin- uh, Sven. My, my mom brought it up too. She's like, "Oh, you're talking about?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> about so hot, so hot, so hot, yeah. is it done? That's so upset. We sing about the club. And he talks Uchi about Uchi 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 Uchi. Uh, <sighs> Sven. I can't think of it, dude. Name. I want to Google this I thing. I want right to Google now. it too. No. Seattle Norwegian. <laughs> Just any Seattle Norwegian. Seattle. There's none of them. That's Norwegian guy singer. Um, we'll edit this. Sig Hansen, Stan, <laughs> Stan <laughs> Borison, Stan Borison. That's who it there was. Yeah, my mom had that like greatest hits of his, and I yeah, brought it up. Too. I played it at least a couple nights during the Christmas season this last year. Did they sing? Was that the uh, record where who sang the um, the camp? Were they, were they away at a camp? Camp on Awana? Yeah, was that him? No. Oh, okay, that's like. <laughs> That's like some sixties. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Where? How old is Boris? Wait, did I say Camp on Awana? No, I'm thinking of what, what's the Camp on Awana? Was that a TV show? Maybe Nickelodeon. I'm we talking were kids? about the camp where it's like. Uh... It's the song about being away at a camp and he yeah. wants to go home. Right? Yes. Yeah. Is that Stan Boris? No. My mom will know. I know what song you're talking about. Uh, I'm embarrassed that I can't think of it now. All right, hold on. Let me Google that next. <laughs> This camp. episode, Googling things with Travis <laughs> and Aaron. <laughs> camp song, uh, uh, Wanna Be Home. Yeah. I wanna go home. Did it, Is that did it? it did. I wanna so, go home. Camp song. Hoist up. No, that's the John V. Sale. Um, G, G, I wanna, but I wanna, G, I wanna go home. G, Ma, I wanna go home. Is this what it is? I know what song you're talking about. Hold on. Let's. Probably have to listen to that. This first. is the worst trip I've ever been on. I don't think this is it. No. Nope. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, it's Sloop John B. You're thinking of Sloop John B, right? I don't know. Look up Beatles Sloop John B. That was or Beach Boys. It's Beach Boys? My thing doesn't work. I put it in lotion. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, my phone doesn't, my speaker doesn't work anymore because it got put in lotion. Did it really? Yeah. Just like a week ago. I was taking a shower. I know, it sounds terrible. I put it on the on the windowsill when one of my kids had gotten there. Like, yeah, I don't want to hear any more about this. <laughs> I, I said it to my baker. That's not too. the song. Get out, get rid of it. Get out of my ears. All right. So anyway, we don't know. It's totally the song. Message us the song. Gee, I want to go home. That's I, the worst trip I've ever been. Why don't they let me go home? That's it. No, it's a different one. But gee, I want to go home. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know either. 
Um, my mom does, or your mom does. <laughs> Someone Maybe. does. Somebody does. Please message us. Or Somebody's text us. getting really pissed off right now. Yeah. Listening to this. Guy. It's you idiots. idiots, morons. You guys are such dumbasses. Um, it's probably your moms. It's probably yeah. So, G, I just want to go home. Yeah, I don't know that one. It's stuck in my head now. Yep. I think that I just probably made it up. I don't know. Maybe that's, but that should be a song. Where were we? What were we talking about? Oh, Stan Borison, Norway, uh, Norwegian. You mm-hmm, don't know how to say mm-hmm. Norwegian. You were talking about oh, eyes. You were talking about Craig, Asian. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, Gosh, one. that was a rabbit hole. Wow. We yeah. were we were gone. We dove down there real Came deep. back. I'm pretty sure that, that was it. We were talking about Craig. Craig. And his Asian Getting looks. called Asian. Yeah. Maybe even Hawaiian. He's kind of. No, just Because he was Hawaiian. Hawaiian. No, never Hawaiian. Okay. No, um, when he got to Hawaii, he was definitely a Howley boy, for sure. If I was Craig, he even got me banned from a bar that I didn't even go to. Because I gave him my ID so he could get into bars in Hawaii when he got to college. Really? And then he got kicked out for being a Howley boy. Really? Freaking white boy in Hawaii. And I guess he got drunk, started talking shit to some of the locals, and then they kicked him out and you know, basically told him, don't come back here. They call him Bowling Ball Head? No, it said, hey, Aaron, don't come back here. And he probably didn't realize they were talking to him. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you this story. And he told me, hey, you're not allowed to go to a couple bars in Waikiki. <laughs> I said, okay, well, I'm not going to Waikiki anytime soon, so we're good. <laughs> that, that, have I shared the story about Adam getting 86 You ever heard mm. that story? 86 from, uh, it's called the Maui Room, believe it or not, in Enumclaw. Uh, I think there was a... It was uh, Mike on the mic. Yeah, you talked about it real quick. Yeah. You didn't really go into the story, but you just mentioned that it had So there was this list. One night I was out with the guys, and there was this list on the wall above the yes. cash register that had a bunch of names that were 86 Yeah. And then there was one, there was a couple that didn't have any last names, but one of them's name was Adam. The first yeah. name was Adam. And so hey, after an hour or so, just kind of chilling there, half hour or so... It's like talk to the bartender. I'm like, hey, I know that Adam kid. That yeah. Last name's Kenny. And so then they wrote Kenny on it. And so it's still up there right now. Where still it says, to this day? Adam Kenny is still sitting up there as 86 from my room. Uh, but they'll never check it. I mean, yeah. it's not, it was probably, it's probably probably him. Yeah. So anyway, he had, he had his bachelor. We went, we went there for his bachelor party. I was kind of hoping he got kicked out, but they never. Did he even drink on his bachelor party? That's the thing. It's like you got to read a card or whatever. No offense, Adam, but I don't know if you drink. Adam... He he has beers. He doesn't drink hard. I'll tell you what, his little board game things kind of perked my interest. I'm sorry. Bordacious, to, huh? Yeah, well, just like I kind of want to get into one of these. Like he did that one where he was running down on different games for the family. Right. Yeah. Like I was like, damn, I think my kids would actually really enjoy something like this. Tell so. you, check out Bordacious, guys. Yeah. Take and check out Take Back Your Life Now, don't it? <laughs> um, so you got what I need. Oh yeah. Here's one for you. Okay. <laughs> this came up at Adam's bachelor party. Okay. Ask me anything. Okay. Okay. That is, that's how you can tell if someone's drunk or not. Yeah. Do you agree with that or disagree with that? I, yeah, I remember hearing you guys talk about that and I was definitely think there's some validity to that for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. I definitely agree. I, uh, yeah, you get to a point where <laughs> you can say anything and you don't care. Yeah. And if you, if someone asks you, if you want to know if someone's drunk, yeah. ask them anything. Yeah. And it's how they answer. Yeah. It's not what they say. What's your middle name? Sean. Okay. He's drunk. Yeah. Okay. But it's even like the, like for me, I'm a talker. You. Oh. Like for instance, if a guy who doesn't know how to speak in a microphone hits it with his hand. Smash as hard as he can. Because he wants pro- to point at you. With his beer bottle. <laughs> he's probably <laughs> drunk. He's had a couple. Uh <laughs> How's that? Is that better? That was a very good, uh, Bong. like, showing us what I was talking about. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. So I asked um, you anything. But we're both talking. Yeah, thanks for asking me something. <laughs> oh, he's drunk. <laughs> Game over, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're both talkers. So for me, it's when you start to get talky-talky for no reason. So if someone asks you a simple question, and then you spend 20 minutes answering that question, you kind of start to realize, yeah, that guy's probably a little hammered. I actually knocked. <laughs> you got microphone. a little excessive with that reenactment over there. I just... Sorry about that, but I did smash this thing. Boom! Making fun of Aaron. Worth it. Worth it. Every um, time. So, question for you, because this came up. Query. I had a guy walk into a catering event one time and say that to me. Question. Question. These Spanakopita are different size than last year. Really? Answer. 
They're the same size as last year. We told you this last year, too. Was this Dwight? No, but Dwight he felt shirt? like it. That's funny. I used to be a catering maitre d' at You're like, we'll comp some you. San Francisco please don't hotel. Leave us. We'll comp you. Please no, don't leave I us. Told him to go make more wolf art. Sorry. <laughs> that um, might be too specific. He'll know who he is now. When you went to high school, Let's see, did anybody grow up from your high school to go do anything? Like, obviously, Casey Kane, Enum Claw, Brian oh, okay. Scalabrini. Like, did yeah, anyone, yeah. did you have anybody from yours? Oh, geez, from my grade? Not that I can think of. Or really. school. You can um, say school. I mean, South Kitsap had definitely a lot of football players that went to like UW and in NFL. Who? Benji Olsen, Tony Coates. Both those guys played in the NFL. Okay. Um, they were linemen, but they're older than us. Right. So. Right. Um, let's see. Dave Vilwalk went to my high school. Who's the hydro who's hydroplane guy after oh, really? uh, what was his name? The Hanauer? Yeah, the guy who took over Budweiser after Hanauer was wow. from my high school. Yeah, actually, his nephew, he'd be uncle nephew, was in my weight class and wrestled with me and actually uh, kind of made him cry. Um, <laughs> but was the good guy afterwards. This guy's like, I don't like these types of contact sports. Well, he was getting picked on really hard and then got beat really bad by me and everyone kind of laughed at him. And then like he was sitting over in the corner and I actually did one of those things where it was like, I was the upperclassman. He was the underclassman. I kind of went up and Hey man, no hard feelings. You know, like it is what it is. He, he crossed kind you of, off. He crossed you off. The crossed list. me off. The, I'm going to shoot you later list. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vilwalk's, I believe nephew. I think that's what the connection what, was like. It was the sister's kid anyone go on to do something like taboo like they grew up to be like maybe god i don't think so so i we just i just found this out somebody from our high school went on to become some adult entertainer awesome crazy yeah it's like you don't you didn't expect that yeah no i don't i, I mean like i so when i moved like it kind of was right in between when you, you know i moved in between seventh and eighth grade right mm-hmm. no six yeah sixth and seventh grade and I don't talk to really anybody from that group at elementary school where you spent like most of your life right. with. And then in high school, I wasn't really there long enough. Like I made a lot of good friends. And we had so you, a lot of fun. So you kind of float. But I kind of floated, floated and until I got to college. And then that's like my group of friends. And so I really honestly, if there is, I don't even know about it. Like my high school, like there's nobody from high school that I talk to anymore. It's really? kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple people that. Friends on Facebook here. And there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like randomly will hit me up and be like, hey. Saw this, thought it was pretty funny. You know, I got like a, a ex girlfriend or two that you know I'm friends with still because we were you know more friends than we were re- in a relationship, <laughs> and uh, you know they'll randomly like oh one of my uh, friends lived across the street from us and you know was a cool friend of mine. She found this like video of me from high school in like this like senior class video thing, right? And it was just me like sitting on a bench. But it like panned past me, and so she like screenshotted it and sent me, "Hey, look what I just found! Who's this guy? You know, <laughs> yeah, look at this loser, <laughs> look at this loser with his long hair." So you know, like, but for the most part, I don't really talk to anybody from from before I moved or after I moved. Did you, did you have any run-ins with the cops? Yeah. What happened? Um, at a South Kitsap football game, I got slammed up against a fence by a bunch of or two cops. For what? Uh, they thought I was selling drugs. Were you? No. Be honest. One hundred percent honest. Uh, no, at the time, I was getting the address for the party after the football game. <laughs> oh, that was it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. But that's before, like, real cell phones and shit like that. Like, somebody literally hand read it and handed it to me. <laughs> and they saw that exchange and thought that we were selling drugs. Oh. And so they, like, rushed me and, you know, thought I had a bunch of drugs on me at that point. It was like, and no. You, I got, and I was honest, too, because I was so scared out of my mind. I was like, I didn't do anything. And they're like, what do you got in your pockets? I was like, the address for the after party. They're like, oh, we don't care about that. And the, the, Got anything else? Like, the, <laughs> Chapstick. No, we're good. Wow. Yeah, that was it. Um, but then I've had, of course, a lot of run-ins with police. I've never been arrested. I mean, that was like the first time I was in handcuffs because then, of course, they searched me and while well, I was in handcuffs and found a piece of paper with an address and realized that I was really telling the truth. And wow. Nothing going on. But um, most of my run-ins with the cops afterwards have been decent in the sense that like I've never – I've usually been the guy who they're like, okay, you get these fuckers out of here. Mm. Um. I've even been pulled over pretty drunk before, but the people in my car were way more hammered than we were. Right. And we were just going through a college town. It was like, we're going from A to B. You know, I, I haven't really drank anything. And they're like, oh, we don't really believe that. And I was like, okay. And then ask, like, me, ask me anything. Ask me anything. <laughs> Smash well, your microphone. headlights aren't on. That's for one. Was it? Oh, shit. Well, it's not my car. It's this guy's car. And he's hammered. And I'm driving everybody home. And it was kind of like one of those, all right. And I ended up. I'm fu- hammered. I mean, they're funny, I mean, Funny story, right? Like this guy, the cop that pulled me over. 
I see him and I see his last name and I know his sister. I'm, I've done work on her house. I work for her at the school. She's like a close, you right. know, person in my life. And I and I know his childhood, like what his mom calls him, his little nickname. Right. And so I look at it, I see it's him, and it's just one in a million, right? right? I'm like, and I say the nickname to him, and right away he's like, How the hell do you know that? And I was like, I'm the one that built that rock wall at your sister's house. And he's like, Oh, all right, well, step out of the car real quick. And it was, you know, that guy's really drunk. Yeah, they're all really drunk. Are you drunk? Oh, I've, I mean, I've had a beer, but I'm good to go. And I'm sure I've had more than that. Right. But. You know, it's like, let me just drive these guys home. And they're like, all right, at least those guys aren't driving. I was like, that's what, kind of what I was thinking. And right. I was like, all right. And of course, my buddies in the back are playing it up, right? Like, <laughs> la, la, la. like <laughs> one guy's like falling over, like smearing the glass with his tongue. And it's like, yeah, thanks, Loper. Good move. And then as we're driving away, do you guys like that? That was a new one. I haven't tried that one before. Oh, my gosh. Who uh, who told me, who ta- told that story? Someone told a story where they, I think it was Mark. Herbert Schmidt, where he told the story where he did the whole uh, Trailer Park Boys. Like, like more hammered than you are kind well, of No, thing. no. Like you, like, you know him. You grew up with him. Oh. Like, like oh, hey, yeah, you're the, uh, weren't you that uh, guy? In my, uh, yeah, that's basically what I did, yeah, but my, I didn't oh, know him like that. I just knew his nickname. My dad was, a, did your dad do something? Yeah, my dad was a scout leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that was, <laughs> oh, that's was, a good move. Yeah, yeah just think. <laughs> I was in that, that troop, uh, troop uh, yeah, was, 281. Yeah, yeah 281. That's, that's right. Oh, gosh, how is everybody? How's he doing? You know, this and that. Like, Who's the other guy? That's a Bill Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Tim. Tim. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um. So let's see where else we we're else? talking about cops. Cops, yeah. Any other run-ins? Uh, I mean, yeah. I a lot of parties where they crashed them, you know, and then they want to know who's supplying the alcohol because there's you know a mixed age of nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three year olds or whatever. Yeah. Maybe. Um, that's happened a couple times. I, I mean, uh, for the most part, I've been pretty lucky. My dad helped me out once with the cops because my idiot friends. Uh, had the bartender at our restaurant buy him beer on the way home. And my dad would let us drink at our house. Right. Shout out to my dad. Thank you. Shout out. Uh, we want a gif for this, by yeah, the way. Put a gif out for this. Please. You pick. You got plenty of time. <laughs> um, <laughs> we 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 were partying. It was, I think it was New Year's Eve, actually. Um, and my friends were going to come drink at my house. And it was like, you know, high school or whatever. And maybe right after high school, that first year out of high school, that summer or whatever, or that New Year's Eve. <clears throat> Cause I went one year away, stayed, I stayed at home before I went off to college. And that year we were working all at this restaurant together and you know, we're partying like restaurant people, but my dad was always really cool about it. He's like, just come over to our house and let everybody park. You can drink, do whatever you want to do. Just don't go driving. Don't be stupid. Don't get in trouble. And we'll provide that like area for you to, you know, have your fun, but not get, have to worry about getting busted. Well, there's a security guard that runs like that area that my parents live on, that golf course that they live on. Uh-huh. And I guess my idiot friends, after they bought the beer or got the beer bought for them by our bartender, uh, had drove past him and like shined a laser pointer in his eyes or something oh. along those lines. And so he got pissed and chased him down and they parked in front of my house oh. and he was in a pickup truck and he had the beer in the back of the pickup truck. Oh. And he knows that we work at the restaurant. He knows that we're like 18, 19 years old and not old enough to buy booze. And so he's like, oh, I'm fucking calling the cops on these idiots. And so the cops show up at my house with well, a security guard. I forget how exactly that happened, but basically they had come in and my dad had said, go grab the beer. And so they went ran out, grabbed the beer, brought it inside. And he goes, now this is my beer. And we were like, okay. And so the cops come, like the real cops come, not the security guard. And they're like, can we come inside and talk to them? And he's like, no. And he's like, you have no right to. Like they're here. Right. They have anything wrong. Well, we heard they had beer, but that's my beer now. It's not their beer. It's my beer. And so it like went on for like a little bit, this like back and forth with my dad and these cops. And they basically realized at this point, like my dad knows what he's talking about. Right. And they're not going to be able to just like force their way in here. Right. And the beer has been confiscated. So, right. You know, what are you guys going to do? Well, they shine a laser pointer in his eyes. Okay. Is that against the law? No. Well, okay. Then what are we doing here? Right. And so they left. And of course, you know, he brought the beer upstairs and he goes, you guys aren't leaving the upstairs. Right. And you owe me one. <laughs> and so let's see. St- Can we air this? Yeah. Yeah, this was a, yeah, I mean, this is one of those, my dad was really cool like that. He was, my, both my parents were really cool about that. Like we had a prom party at my house where it was, bring me the keys. Me, my brother and my sister and my mom and my dad were in their bedroom, like watching movies. And all my friends came over and partied with me and we got drunk and hung out and had a crazy time. And everybody that came over, I'd grab their keys and bring them to my dad's room and go, here's another set of keys. 
Wow. Yeah, it was cool. I don't know if I could do that. That's, yeah, that, that, that takes some balls. It's a different time, That's too. A, well, yeah. And it's Port Orchard. There's something about Port Orchard. It's out in the boondocks. Well, like, it's the same thing at the end of the clock. Dude, we messed with that security guard so much, though. I one time tied a rope to the back of his fucking car and we like snuck underneath his vehicle while he was like doing security patrols, sitting in his little spot. It, <laughs> and then had to run from him through the golf course. It was crazy. Was dude. he was he running or driving? He drove and then jumped out of his car to chase us, but we ran through this like marshy area that he couldn't catch us through. Yeah. It was wild, dude. <laughs> we used to fuck with that guy so much. I feel bad. We one time locked him in. So he was doing his rounds at the restaurant we worked at, which is the same golf course I lived at. So like I knew that place like the back of my hand. All of it. And so I knew he came at eleven o'clock after the restaurant. Were you guys at employed 10. by the same people? Mm-hmm. And so he would come through <laughs> And do his little rounds at McCor- I don't want to say the name. He'd come through and do yeah. the rounds at the restaurant right. at 11 o'clock every day. We knew that. And so after at 11 o'clock, I snuck out there and I locked the gate while he was in there doing his little rounds. So he pulls up to the gate and it's locked with a fucking padlock. And he gets out of his car with his flashlight. He's looking at it. And we had dumped a whole can of oil over it too. Like just, you know, 18-year-old, 17-year-old dumb shit. <laughs> And yeah, and we sat there and watched him in the bushes for like a half hour trying to figure out what to do. Wow. Yeah. yeah the same the same security this guard helped gonna... hook me up though. He hooked you up? Yeah, I was Was jumped... this after? Uh, yeah. I well he didn't know it was the same. I don't think he realized like two and two. So like a couple years later, or probably a year later, I dropped my girlfriend off and I had a few hours to kill and I went I tried to go four by end in the woods there. And I ended up getting high centered because I didn't put it in four wheel drive until after I'd gotten like stuck. And he was like, I don't want to fill out this paperwork. Just get out of here. <laughs> and really? so I ended up calling my couple people to help me get out of there. And we got out of there. But High Centered would be a good. Uh, oh, High Centered. There it is. High Centered is such a good name. <clears throat> so many levels. Well, everyone, thanks for listening. I was going to tell a Chelsea story. We'll have to wait till next time. Now. <sighs> it sucks. I always have these Chelsea stories that I want to share. And I can't because we were talking about random stuff all the time. But everyone, thanks for listening. Chelsea, hang in there. We've got a story for you at some point. Everyone enjoy whatever month you're in. I don't know when this is getting aired. And enjoy the rest of your whatever. Have a great day and take care.